Now, Robert, I realized on the January 6th case, on the January 6th setup, we forgot to deal with the actual case of uh, the guy who was just sentenced to 11 years and three months because he brought a freaking hatchet. Maybe he brought some other stuff to the to the Capitol protest. Didn't use anything. Didn't go into the building. This is a 59-year-old man. I mean, it's just one injustice after the next. But And again, the average rate convicted defendant gets four years in America. This guy got 11 years, didn't even go inside the Capitol. Did, did, but didn't didn't commit an actual act of violence. Yeah, no act of violence towards anybody. He brought a hatchet. That was the biggest thing. And then he said death to tyrants and whatever. Make it sound so scary. and It's what they're terrified of. They're terrified of ordinary people, you know, recreating the American Revolution. But um, it's fiction. It's fabricated. These people didn't do that. That they're, they're, in fact, more and more evidence is coming out that the only violent interaction at all between any member of Capitol Police and anybody on, there on January 6th was in response to Capitol Police violence. That's why they've been hiding the tapes all along. None of these people were as violent as everybody else was in the summer of love throughout America. And, and, pro, and almost none of them faced any prosecution or punishment, including the ones in D.C. who tried to raid the White House and burn down the church across from the White House. That, that loser, Legal Schmeagel, uh, you know, tried to bring a lawsuit. I'm pretty sure he lost because I have never heard him talk about it again. So, like, <laughs> yeah, he lost like he usually is. That's what losers do. They lose. That's Legal Schmeagel, otherwise known as Legal Eagle uh, legal uh, here on, on YouTube. Um, but so you look at the, I mean, the, uh, but the other thing this defendant alleged is he's preserving the issue that this entire thing was a setup. Uh, uh, people have to understand this. Ex-police chief, he, he tw- two decades of, of untarnished service, from what I understand, he brought a hat hatchet to capital on Jesus, I bring a hatchet going hiking. So if I, if I, I'm a camping and I say 11 years in prison, he's a 59, that's a death sentence for a 59 year old man. Just as he drove from his home to the state, from the California, uh, California to Washington. Terror, how dare he? Instead of flying so that he could load his car with weapons. Federal prosecutors said, and all he brought was a hatchet. Because that's how you overthrow a government. I mean, maybe, maybe back in the day. Uh, it, it's it's an absolute atrocious outrage. You, people can and he details it. all the informants, infiltrators, instigators, provocative actions, lack of security presence, uh, inconsistent actions of the Capitol Police uh, that were agent provocateurs in one way, shape, or form, sometimes escorting people in, sometimes directing them to certain places, sometimes physically attacking vulnerable people. I mean, like, why do you attack an old lady three times, throw her down a st- flight of stairs? Why do you do? You, you do that to provoke the crowd. Why are you throwing? Throwing, you know, th- uh, uh, the equivalent of almost like grenades and uh, their sound effect. Well, I mean, I think you experienced that. I experienced that in, in, in Ottawa. It's like, why are they doing this? Then I understood why they're doing it. To trigger a panic response from the crowd. We love you! We love you! We love you! We love you! What the hell is that? It's Canada, people. Welcome to Canada, folks. Panic or violence, both of which lead to the same thing, an excuse for the police to come in. That's exactly right.